For those of you who don't know, success in the rap industry is particularly linked to the flexing ability of the artist in question, and we suppose this isn't very surprising considering the content of a banger usually revolves around the rapper either making stacks of cash or hooking up with multiple women at a time. That being said, some rappers end up talking themselves up flexing with items they don't actually own in an attempt to feel bigger than they are. So, who are these rappers that have been exposed for flexing with fake money? And what effect did being caught have on their overall reputation in the rap game? Well, whether you're a fan of the music industry or just want to know more about rap artists who have tried to pull the wool over our eyes, you've come to the right place, as we're about to explore the unfortunate souls that were caught flexing something they never had. So, strap yourselves in and get ready for a bumpy ride, as things are about to get into Interesting. But before we get into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications on, so you don't miss out on any of the new videos we post. Interact with us, subscribe, and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks. Number 1. 50 Cent First up on our list is one of the most famous rappers in the world, who ended up making a heavy dent in the rap game during the new millennium. We are, of course, referring to none other than 50 Cent, who is formerly known as Curtis James Jackson III. Probably best known for his breakout studio album Get Rich or Die Trying, 50 Cent rocked the charts with songs ranging from In The Club to Candy Shop, causing this album to sell well over 10 million copies worldwide. Having experienced a tough early childhood after growing up in the projects, it goes without saying that this was a dream of the 50s, who truly encapsulated the style of gangster rap that had become so popular at the time. The fact that he had been shot over nine times also added to his overall allure. That being said, 50 Cent didn't remain in the spotlight for too long. And as the world was accepting new talent into the rap game in 2016, he was caught faking success on his official Instagram page. He went on to post a picture of at least nine buckets that were filled to the brim with US dollars, captioning the picture with the statement, Buckets of love, no big deal, this short paper, lol. But considering that 50 hadn't exactly done anything monumental in the days since his fame of yesteryear, many started to question whether these buckets full of dollar bills were actually real. And it looks like 50 didn't do his research on the technology of the time, as all it took was for a reverse image search to be performed on his Instagram pic to show that this was actually a photograph taken of cash seized by the police in the United Kingdom back in 2010. Further evidence came up showing that 50 had actually filed for bankruptcy in 2015 with a debt of 32 million US dollars. This made it pretty obvious that the cash in the picture was never his. In fact, according to experts who estimate net worth for a living, 50 Cent was estimated to have only made around $348,000 in 2016 through endorsements and merchandise sales. And while this may still be considered to be a lot when compared to the average Joe or Jane, it's certainly not enough to call for the flex that 50 was trying to give his fans. Funnily enough, after laughing at the rapper for about a week, his fans went on and forgot about the embarrassing little incident, leaving it left in the past. Number 2. Kodak Black Next up on our list, we have a rapper by the name of Bill Kahan Capri, who you might know as Kodak Black. The self-proclaimed lyrical genius gained initial recognition in 2014 after the release of his debut single No Flockin', with his album Painting Pictures eventually reaching the number 3 spot on the US Billboard 200. Suffice to say, Kodak used his earlier life experience growing up in the Golden Acres housing project in Pompano Beach to solidify himself as someone who had started from the bottom to achieve a lifetime of fame and fortune. And for a while, this was precisely the case, as seen by the life and times of 50 Cent, rappers who got rich quick also have a tendency to spend cash in an uncontrollable way, often leading to financial troubles down the line. Despite his insane amount of fame, experts estimate the current net worth of Kodak Black to be within the ballpark of around $600,000 at the moment, which isn't too much considering how much flexing he does on a daily basis. So it seems as if the rapper's authenticity has somewhat been thrown out the window in an attempt to make himself appear far more successful than he actually is. Nowhere is this better demonstrated than in his Instagram Live video of his from 2018, in which he could be seen shirtless with a number of gold and diamond chains around his neck. When asked by a user how much he had at the moment, Kodak decided to hit back with some honesty by saying, I ain't got no money. That money you be seeing me with on Instagram, that be fake money. That's prop money. That's not my money, brah. I do not have 
nothing. Considered by Kodak to have been nothing more than a small heart-to-heart -heart with his favorite fans, and honesty can be quite understandable. But this clip was later shared by rapper Chris Brown, exposing Kodak Black to the rest of the world and resulting in quite a bit of embarrassment. And while his fans remained steady at his side, the remainder of the music industry chimed in with comments regarding how the majority of the newest rappers on the scene had a tendency to flex with fake money. What's even stranger than all of this is that Kodak continues to use this prop money to the day, which seems contrary to the entire point of using it to appear successful. Who knows, maybe he thinks his fans have forgotten about everything, but we very much doubt it. Number 3. Young Thug and then we have Jeffrey Lamar Williams, who is best known by his professional stage name of Young Thug. He's one of those rappers who appears to have a hand in every pie, collaborating with some incredible artists such as Camila Cabello in Havana and Drake in Ice Melts. Suffice to say, whether you're a fan of the 29-year-old artist or not, there's no doubt that you've found yourself vibing out to at least one of his tracks somewhere down the line. But even before reaching mainstream success, Young Thug was known to flex more than his fair share of cash, jewelry, and even exotic cars, with many asking where all his money had actually come from. Back in 2015, for example, he posted images on Instagram claiming to have been gifted a limited edition Audemars Piguet wristwatch by Chic in Dubai. The problem with making a claim such as this is that the wristwatch industry is pretty open about who receives limited edition versions of their anticipated releases. Cue the Instagram account Fake Watch Busta, which has made a massive presence online for busting celebrities and social media influencers for flexing with fake timepieces. In a single post dedicated to Young Thug, they made reference to the depth of the date window that his version of the limited edition Audemars Piguet watch featured, indicating that the spacing towards the tachometer was off. In other words, the fact that the date window of his watch was far too shallow and close to the rim showed that it was not a legitimate Audemars Piguet wristwatch, let alone a limited edition version of the newest model. In an attempt to avoid some embarrassment, Young Thug then switched his story up by reading tweeting the indication that it was fake and mentioning that he had actually bought the watch for around $110,000. He stated further that people need to call his jeweler, Elliot Avian, if they still think it's fake, as he was the one who sold it to Young Thug. Having your jeweler make you a fake Audemars Piguet watch does not make things better though, especially when your original flex was that some chic in Dubai actually gifted you a real limited edition version. So it goes without saying that Young Thug found himself facing quite a lot of criticism, but luckily for him, his fan base didn't seem to care that much. Number 4. Nicki Minaj Before you start thinking that only male rappers have a problem when it comes to flexing something they don't truly have, let's take a look at the controversy that Nicki Minaj found herself in a few years back. We doubt there's a single person out there who doesn't know who Nicki Minaj is. Still, for those of you who really aren't in the know, she's the famous name behind tracks such as Anaconda and I'm Legit, which was a commentary on how she doesn't fake the lifestyle that she lives. As it turns out, though, this was the furthest thing from the truth as seen by her music video for Massive Attack. In this video, we see Nicki driving a bright pink 2008 Lamborghini Murcielago, which ended up being the focal point of the video. In fact, she even went on to mention the Lamborghini in the content of the rap, stating bluntly that she had gone on to bulletproof it. The true state of affairs is that she never actually went on to bulletproof the Lambo. She didn't even own the vehicle, which had been rented by the studio in an effort to show just how much money she had. The way that fans discovered this was pretty hilarious, though. Since her music video portrayed her driving the exotic vehicle off-road, she was hit with a massive lawsuit from Hollywood Exotic Car Rentals, the company that had actually rented the Lambo to her in the first place. It was also alleged that she missed three days of payments on the car, although this was never included in the lawsuit itself. Still though, fake flexing at its very best. What do you think of these rappers that were caught in the act though? Be sure to let us know in the comments section down below.